This week, I'm going to lead you through an energizing slow flow practice for the whole body. So whenever you need a bit of picking up, this could be a practice for you. Let's get started. For this week's practice, you don't necessarily need any props. I have a couple of blocks here with me that I will use from time to time, but you can also do this practice without any props, especially if you normally don't use anything. We're going to start from a seat and I'm going to use a block in this first seat under the pelvis. So you can also have something under the pelvis if you want to. We're just going to take a moment here for our breath. And you could either have your hands resting on your legs, on your lap, or if you want, you could bring one hand onto your chest and the other hand to your belly. That might help you to connect with your breath just a bit more. Give yourself a few just slightly deeper or slightly slower breaths in and out. Inhaling through the nose and exhale through the nose or mouth. Allowing those breaths to move your chest Move your rib cage. You might even send your breaths down to your belly. Just let yourself feel those movements as they slide in and out. Take a couple more breaths in the seated pose. And then after those couple of breaths. We'll slowly release the hands and arms down and we'll bring ourselves onto all fours, onto hands and knees. And you could put blocks aside at this point. On all fours, start to circle the weight from hands to knees, knees to hands, bringing movement to your hips, bringing movement to your shoulders, and also allowing your spine to move. After a few circles, one way, change the direction. Just with this first movement, allow yourself to check in how you're feeling now. Continue to breathe together with this movement. Notice when you're breathing in, when you're breathing out. And let's do another round, another breath in and out. And then bring the weight back to center. Tuck the toes under and lift your pelvis up into downward facing dog. And here you can move from one foot to the other. Shift the weight from one hand to the other. Allowing your neck to move. Take another breath in and out. So we'll keep moving the body rather than staying still. We'll try to energize the body into some movement. And then we're going to leave the hands grounded. And now as you inhale, lift the pelvis up. Exhale, shift the weight forward into a plank. And in this plank, step your right foot to the left side of the mat. So you're opening the right hip. And then as you inhale, step both feet back into downward dog. Same to the other side. As you exhale, shift the weight forward to your hands and step your left foot to the right side of the mat. And again, as you inhale, step both feet back. We'll do this two more times to both sides, a bit faster. Exhale, step your right foot to left side of the mat and inhale back to downward dog. Exhale, step left foot to right side of the mat. Inhale back to downward dog. Once more, exhale, step right foot to left side of the mat and inhale to downward dog. And exhale, step left foot to right side of the mat and inhale once more into downward dog. Now, as you exhale, bring your right knee on the mat close to hands and then slide your right hand a bit further forward 
and turn into gate pulse, opening your chest. And as you exhale, reach your left arm overhead so you find a side bend. Breathe here in and out, left foot grounding down, left hand reaching away from that left foot. And then as you exhale, turn your chest down, bring hands on the mat. And now step your right foot between the hands, turn your left foot on the mat. We're gonna leave the right hand down here. You could bring a block under the right hand as we go into the triangle pose. So again, open your chest towards the side, that long side of the mat, and then lengthen your left arm overhead. If this feels too much for the shoulder, now you can also bring your left arm behind the back. Right leg could be extended, or you could keep your right knee bent. Open the chest, take another breath here, in and out. And then as you exhale, close the chest, bring hands down. You can put the block aside. We'll step into a downward dog and go through a gentle flow. We're going to come forward to plank, either knees on the mat or legs extended. Exhale down onto your chest, onto your belly. Inhale into cobra pose, opening through the front and then exhale, lower your chest down. Inhale onto hands and knees. Exhale back into downward facing dog. And then we're going to do that gate pose and triangle pose to the other side. So now we're going to bring left knee on the mat, close to hands. Step left hand further forward and then inhale, turn to the other long side of the mat, reaching the right arm up. Open the chest. As you exhale, lengthen that right arm overhead. So you're really opening that right side body, the right foot pressing down. Take another breath in and out. And then as you exhale, close your chest. Bring hands down, close your pelvis. And now step your left foot to your hands and turn right foot on the mat for that triangle pose. Again, block under left hand. Could be a nice addition here. As we inhale, open the chest to the long side of the mat. And you could extend your left leg or still keep left knee bent. And your right arm could reach up or bring right arm behind the back. But actively turning the chest opening through that front line and through the side body. Take one more breath in and out. And then as you exhale, close the chest. You can bring hands to the mat. You can put the block aside and we'll go through another little flow. So step both feet back and then shift the weight forward to plank. Exhale. You can bring knees down, lower your chest to the mat. Inhaling to cobra pose, opening the front. Exhale, lower back down. And inhale onto hands and knees. Tuck the toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog. Allow your hip to drop down. Now we're going to walk hands and feet together. Let them meet somewhere in the middle of the mat. Shift the weight onto your feet, rounding the back. Inhale, hands on the shins, extend the back into flat back. And then exhale, bend down, full forward bend. Inhale, roll the back up. And you can reach arms up, opening through the chest. Exhale, bring your hands and arms down. Finding yourself in the mountain pose. And then next, we're going to go into side bends. So now as you inhale, lengthen your both arms up. Hold your left wrist with the right hand. And with the next exhalation, bend to your right. So you're again opening the left side body, keeping your chest open. You might look up. You might also look down to the mat if that releases the neck more. 
One more breath in and out. And then as you inhale, come back to center and exhale, release the arms. We'll do same to the other side. Inhale, lengthen arms up, open the chest, hold your right wrist with the left hand. And then as you exhale, bend to your left. Again, trying to keep the chest open. Softening tops of the shoulders away from your ears and grounding down through your feet, keeping legs active. Take one more breath in and out. And then as you inhale, lift back up and release the arms. You can roll the shoulders, turn towards the top of the mat if you aren't there already. And then we're going to inhale, lift the left knee up, bring palms together in front of the chest. As you exhale, find your warrior three. Opening the chest away from the mat, reaching the left leg behind you. Arms could open out to the sides or you could still have palms together in front of the chest. Take another breath here, in and out. And then we're going to step into high lunge. So now step your left foot far back, bending the right knee. And as you inhale, reach arms up, opening the chest. Exhale, cactus the arms. Find a small back bend. Keep your arms energized, reaching elbows away from each other. Take another breath in and out. And then as you exhale, close your chest. Bring palms together in front of the chest. We're gonna to twist towards that right knee. We'll bring left elbow to the outside of the right knee or thigh. And then inhale, twist towards that right leg. And very gently press the palms against each other. Keep your back long, so you're reaching your head away from that left heel. One more breath, in and out. Keep the left knee lifted off the mat. And then as you exhale, release your hands down. Now either bring fingertips onto the mat, or you could use blocks under your hands here. We're going to extend the right leg, the front leg, and lean our back towards that right leg. We don't need to again fully straighten the right leg, just like in that triangle pose. Doesn't need to be fully straight, but just finding opening through the back side of that right leg. Head can drop down, take another breath in and out. And then as you exhale, bend the right knee again. Again, you can put your blocks aside. We'll step into plank and go through a gentle flow. Inhale in plank, exhale down to the mat. And then inhaling your cobra. It could be small, it could be bigger cobra. Exhale, bring your chest down. Inhale onto hands and knees and exhale to downward dog. Head dropping down. Take a breath in and out here. And then again, we're gonna walk hands and feet together like we did before, shifting the weight onto your feet. Bring hands onto your shins and inhale to flat back, opening the chest. Exhale, bend down, full forward bend. As you inhale, roll the back up and reach arms up towards the ceiling, opening the chest. Exhale, release hands and arms down. You can roll the shoulders. And then we're gonna go into that balancing warrior three on the other side. So now shift weight onto your left foot. Lift right knee up, bring palms together in front of the chest. And when you feel you have your balance, Exhale, reach your right leg behind you, finding your warrior three on the other side. Standing leg knee could be bent, 
Again, arms could be next to the sides or you could have palms together in front of the chest. Active long line from hip to that right foot. Take another breath in and out. And then we're going to exhale, step the right foot far back, that high lunge, and inhale, reach arms up, opening the chest. This time as you exhale, bring arms behind the back, interlock fingers, and then inhale, lift up through the chest bone. Find a small back bend, or you might just think of it as an opening across the chest. Release tops of the shoulders away from the ears. Take one more breath in and out. Keeping legs strong. And then as you exhale, release the arms. Bring palms together in front of the chest. We're going to go for the twist. So now as you exhale, bring your right elbow to the outside of your left knee or thigh. And then as you inhale, twist towards the left. And again, keep your right knee lifted away from the mat, really keeping the legs active, energized. Take another breath in and out. And then as you exhale, release your hands down. Again, you might bring blocks under your hands as we now exhale, extend the left leg a bit further and find that forward bend. Again, check how you're feeling in that left knee. You don't need to fully straighten the leg, but just leaning over that left leg, finding opening through the back side. Take another breath in and out. And then we're going to exhale, bend the left knee. Again, put the blocks aside. We'll go through one more flow. Step your both feet back, find a plank. Exhale, lower down onto the mat. Inhaling to your cobra. And exhale, bring the chest back down. Inhale onto hands and knees, tuck the toes under and exhale. One more downward dog, last downward dog. Breathe a couple of times in and out. And then again, walk hands and feet together. Bring weight onto your feet. Inhale to flat back. And this time, bring arms behind the back. Interlock fingers, open the chest. Another breath in and exhale, bend down. One more forward bend, either leaving hands onto your lower back or extend arms away from the back, opening a bit more through the shoulders. Head can drop down. Take one more breath in and out. And then we're going to release the arms slowly, gently. Bend the knees and as you inhale, roll the back up. Reach arms up, opening the chest. Exhale, release the arms down. Take a couple of breaths in and out. And then today we're going to end our practice with a six-part Taoist breath. So find a space on your mat where you can open both arms out to the sides. Bring the weight onto two feet. We'll do four rounds. Listen to the pace of your breath. First, as you inhale, lengthen arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows and push hands out to the sides. Inhale, close the hands and pull the arms in. Exhale, push hands in front of you. You can round your upper, upper back. Inhale, close the hands and draw the arms in. Exhale, push hands down towards the mat. Head can drop down. Second round. Inhale, lift your back, reach your arms up. Exhale, out to the sides, pushing the hands away. Inhale, pull the arms in. Exhale, push in front of you. 
Inhale, draw the arms in. Exhale, down towards the mat. Full forward bend. Now two more rounds with your own pace. Start with the in-breath, reaching up. Out-breath, always sends the arms out. So you're moving your breath together with your body. Follow the pace of your own breath. Keep the breath flowing. Keep the movement flowing. One more round. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling out to the sides. Keep tops of the shoulders soft. Allow your neck to follow the movement. When you finish that last round, once more, inhale, reach your arms, your back up, and then exhale, bring hands to your lower belly. And pause there for a few breaths. Notice the movements of your breaths. Notice how the flow continues through your breath. Soften your neck, soften your shoulders. Take a couple more breaths in and out. We're going to end this practice standing up today. If you feel that you want to take a moment lying down or seated, you are more than welcome to continue your own practice in your own way. If you want, you can bring your palms together in front of the chest. And as always, at the end of the practice, make sure you thank yourself for taking this time, this Little time to practice and look after your body, look after yourself today. And I thank you very much for joining in. I do hope that you feel a bit more energized. Namaste. Thank you.